Let's be honest. Most open source ERPs are, oh, kind of trash. They sound good on paper, but most of the time, they're more trouble than they're worth. That's why today, I'll be comparing two systems that actually deliver. Hi, I'm Jeff Budiak with Software Connect. In today's video, I'll be going in-depth into Odoo and ERP Next to help you decide which is best for your business. Before we get started, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. It helps us grow the channel and lets us keep making content to help small businesses grow. And if you want more detail on each system, we've got separate deep dive videos for both. Check those out too. Okay, let's get started. Odoo was originally launched in Belgium as Tiny ERP, eventually rebranding to Odoo in 2014. Since then, it's exploded in popularity, being used by thousands of companies across the globe. I wanna be clear though, it's not a fully open source system. Let me explain. The community version is open source, so you can download it yourself and tweak the code. But that version only has basic modules. To get a lot of extra features, you'll need to pay for the closed sourced enterprise edition. Now ERP Next is a different story. This one's completely open source, no paid edition, no lock features. Developed by Frappe Technologies in India, it includes everything from accounting to manufacturing right out of the box. It's a favorite amongst businesses that want a complete ERP without a massive price tag or complex setup. So if you want open source, you got it. It's just not as scalable as Odoo's Enterprise Edition. Let's get started with accounting, arguably the most important ERP module. Both platforms include core accounting functions, but they have some differences once you get under the hood. ERP Next gives you access to all its accounting features right away without a paywall. You get double entry bookkeeping, tax rules, bank reconciliation, financial reports, the whole package. Even better, it's all customizable. Change your chart of accounts, create new dimensions, and even add your own fields. I found the interface a bit cluttered at times, but overall, it was pretty easy to use. Odoo offers a lot of the same features, but only in its paid plans. The open source community edition is a little more limited compared to the enterprise edition. There's no automatic bank reconciliation like an ERP Next, and the reports are more basic. If you're willing to pay, the enterprise edition does have a more polished experience. You can use the built-in BI spreadsheet for custom analytics, or use the AI invoicing to streamline your billing. If I had to pick a winner here, it would be ERP Next for its extensive free features. While ERP Next wins in accounting, there are still so many other factors to consider when choosing an ERP. How does it handle inventory management? Is there a built-in CRM tool, or do I have to get my own? It can make the search pretty difficult if you're looking on your own. At Software Connect, we can make finding the perfect system a breeze. We'll match you with platforms that fit your exact needs. Just visit softwareconnect.com or click on the link in the description for your free consultation. Getting back to the features, I want to compare their manufacturing modules. ERP Next offers a lot of tools for manufacturers of all modes and types. It has a flexible multi-layer BOM module paired with a simple user interface. That said, it does lack some more advanced capabilities, like a detailed PLM tool. It's really only viable if you're a small job shop that just needs the basics. Because of that, I feel like Odoo takes the edge, especially with the Enterprise Edition. It offers a deeper feature set, including BOM version control. It's great if you have a lot of vendor changes, design updates, or even material substitutions. Compare this with ERP Next, which doesn't have versioning at all. Again, those features are enterprise only. The community edition sticks to the basics. But for mid-sized manufacturers, I think it's worth the upgrade. Moving on, let's compare their inventory management tools. Both offer pretty extensive modules, multi-warehouse support, stock adjustments, and auto reordering. But again, ERP Next shines with its simplicity. The centralized item master gives you total control over your products. You can manage all different types with ease, including variants, raw materials, or even services. Plus, you can keep your entire inventory in one place, eliminating duplications. Odoo has a lot of the same features, but I found the product section a little easier to navigate. The item list includes an image of the product next to the price and on-hand count. This made it a lot easier to find what I was looking for, especially for products with a lot of variations. The Enterprise Edition also has native integrations with shipping carriers like UPS and FedEx. With ERP Next, you have to do that manually. If I'm stacking up ERP Next versus Odoo's community version, I'd say it's a tie. They both are great for basic stock tracking and replenishment. That said, Odoo's Enterprise is the most advanced edition of the three. It has more complex features like barcode scanning and integrations. Finally, I want to talk about pricing. For ERP Next, this is pretty easy. It's free forever if you host it yourself. But that takes a lot of effort and technical know-how. 
For convenience, Frappe can host it for you starting at $5 per month, which is still super cheap. Odoo's community version is free too, or if you only want one app. But most businesses will probably need the standard plan, which is $39 per user per month. While it may not be free, it's really affordable for a full ERP. Just compare it with NetSuite, which is a minimum of $1,400 per month. So which one is right for you? If you want a true open source platform, ERP Next is a clear winner. All of its features are available for you to use and customize. Just keep in mind, you'll need to be comfortable tweaking code and handling support yourself. But if you're looking for a more polished experience, or you'd rather pay for something that just works out of the box, Odoo might be the better fit. The standard plan is more expensive than the open source community version, but I think it's justified with all its extra features you get. It's worth it if you're an expanding business or even a multi-location mid-sized company. If you're still undecided, don't worry. There's a lot to consider. If you want more options, check out our open source ERP roundup page for alternatives like Dolabar. Or if you feel open source might not be for you, our general ERP page will give you some great alternative options like NetSuite and Acumatica. Those links will be in the description. Which system do you like more? Was there anything that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.